Hello, and welcome to my channel. My name is Jonathan Cohn, and today I have a special video discussing my time at Dragon Con uh, this past weekend. Um, I decided to go on Saturday for one day to go to Dragon Con, and I fit a lot in. I left my house. It's, I live about an hour and a half away from Atlanta. I left uh, f at like 530 and I didn't get home until midnight. So that is how packed a day I had. And I just had event after event after event there. Um, so I was really busy. Uh, I got to meet several authors that were a lot of fun to get to meet. And I have some pictures to show with them. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get any interviews because it is so busy and so crowded at Dragon Con. There was no way to fit it all in. But it was a lot of fun nonetheless. Um, uh, the first person that I got to meet was... Keith R.A. DeCandido. I've met him before, and I got most of my books signed by him. I did uh, bring in one more book I had found, and, and then I also purchased from him. It was a bit of a tattered copy, so he gave me a bit of a discount on it, um, but he had a copy of Klingon Empire, A Burning House, and I really like the way that Keith writes the Klingons. Two of my favorite authors, specifically for writing Klingons, are John Jackson Miller and Keith DeCandido. And so I really like the way he's written Klingons before, and so I was really excited to get this book. Uh, this was in a used bookstore nearby, and I was going to buy it so I could bring it to him, but I couldn't find it. So I was glad that he had a copy that I could purchase. And so uh, I also got another book, uh, one of the IKS Gorkin books, uh, Honorbound, signed by him, which was pretty exciting. Uh, I was supposed to meet Kevin J. Anderson in the morning when he was going to come to a signing, but he got um, delayed when uh, the parade happened because he got invited to the parade, so they had to shift around his schedule. So I'll talk about him in just a minute. So instead, I went to a panel uh, in mid-morning called uh, on Media Tie-In Fiction. Uh, it was several Media Tie-In authors, uh, including John Jackson Miller, uh, uh, Clay Griffith, uh, Greg Keyes and uh, Keith DeCandido, they were all authors that were present. And then we also had um, the editor, uh, Steve Saffel, who has been the editor at Titan Books for a while. He's also edited at Del Rey. Steve um, moderated the panel, and it was a really interesting panel. Sadly, only about 15 people showed up for the panel, which was really sad since I'm such a big proponent of media tie-in fiction. I hope more people would come. But Steve Saffel... Uh, moderated the panel, and it was really interesting. They talked about what it's like working with the licensors, what it's like working with editors, what it's like um, uh, coming up with original characters in a tie-in fiction, what it's like doing novelizations, things you are allowed to do, things you're not allowed to do, all that kind of stuff. And it was really interesting getting to hear all the perspectives. Some of it was information I'd heard before, but it was still really interesting. And then, after that panel, I went back and I got to meet... Uh, John Jackson Miller, and I got some books signed with him, and it was actually cool because I have a German edition of Kenobi, which he had never seen before. He had never seen in person the German version. He'd only see it online. So when I brought it to him, he was really excited. He said, I've got to get a picture of this. Can I take a picture? And I was like, sure, it's your book. Um, and so he took a picture of it, and, and that was kind of fun. And then um, uh, he and I, I, I bought some other books from him, uh, to give out as presents and he started signing them and he, and he, he looked at my name tag and he said, wait, you're Jonathan Cohn? And I said, yeah. And he gave, uh, he shook my hand. He said, I loved your video that you did on me. Uh, he referring to the ranking video for John Jackson Miller's, uh, books. And he said, no one's ever done a ranking video of my books before. And I just, that was really cool that he actually had watched my video that I had done. That was, that was a really cool highlight of the, of the event. And so that was a lot of fun. And then I also met Claudia Gray. I uh, brought all, of, uh, not all of my adult novels from her. I forgot to bring my YA because I was so crammed in what I had in my suitcase that I couldn't bring everything. So I brought my adult novels for her. And then I also brought uh, her original novel, uh, Murder of Mr. Wickham, and then bought a few books from her to give out as gifts. And uh, she was really nice. We talked for a minute. It was, it was kind of fun. But also, she um, uh, was really happy that I bought her non-Star Wars material because sometimes people only care about the tie-in property. And it's important to know that these authors write other things oftentimes. And so I'm a big proponent of... Uh, 
of buying their other stuff if I have the ability to. And so I met Claudia Gray, who was just a delight. And there were other authors that were present at, this was at the Bard's Tower booth, um, primarily. The Missing Volume was a booth that was there, but none of the authors there were authors I was interested in. The authors that were, I was going to be interested in weren't going to be there on Saturday, which was kind of sad, but it was understandable. And then what happened was, Kevin J. Anderson, I was told he would be signing at Bard's Tower, but it turned out he was signing at this art thing on the fourth floor instead of the second floor. And so I rushed up there, and I had 30 books for him to sign. Not a, not a joke, 30 books. And so I let everyone else go in front of me, and then I brought him my books, and I said, I, I'm not buying, because he was doing a signing for this, um, the, the, the comic, the, uh, the graphic novel versions of Dune, uh, that they're doing a couple volumes for. Uh, and uh, so I waited till everyone else was in line. I said, I know you're signing for something else, but would you mind signing my books I have? And he was, of course, very willing to. And he, he looked at all my books and he said, oh my, you must be a fan. And so he and I talked about things. We talked about his Saga of the Seven Suns series. Um, we, I brought him some of, I, I was able to find some of the old versions of them to bring. Uh, he'd already signed my new versions when I ordered them in the mail. And then uh, he also signed all my Star Wars books. He signed some of my uh, Wake of the Dragon books, uh, some of his other books with Doug Beeson, a bunch of books, 30 books that I had. And then, um, uh, I wanted to buy his books on the Dune series, his House of Treaties trilogy that he did with Brian Herbert, and Kevin was real, uh, willing to do that, but the, the books were actually down at the bookstore on the second floor. He was on the fourth, and he was going to leave in about a half hour uh, to go get dinner, and so I rushed with this big old suitcase that was like hundreds of pounds because it had all these books in it. I rushed downstairs buy the books, which was actually a bit of a hassle, and then I rushed back upstairs and got him to sign them, and I have the books here that I purchased. They were the, um, uh, you have the first one, uh, Dune, uh, uh, the first House Atreides one, then you have the House Harkonnen, and then you have the uh, House Carino, and I was really excited to get these. Um, I had wanted the mass markets because I have the mass markets of the other Dune books, but he sold out of the mass markets of them, and so I decided to buy the trades, which was actually pretty, pretty expensive, but still, I have the trades, and they're signed, which was really nice, um, uh, and so I had a good conversation, because I was up there with him for about, probably about seven or eight minutes, where we talked just about all the different stuff he's worked on, so that was also a really cool part of the Dragon Con. I also went to two more panels in the evening. I went to the Awesome Authors of Star Wars panel, which in and of itself was very standard. I've been listening to that panel. Different uh, uh, podcasts like Full of Sith and Star Wars Bookworms have been recording and pl displaying the, p the panels um, for the last you know nine years, ever since about 2013. Uh, and so I've listened to every panel every year since 2013. And then... Uh, to get to be there in person. It was a real, real awesome moment because I've, I've been listening to this panel. It's been such an important part. I've, I've probably re-listened to those panels more than any other convention panel ever. For sure, actually. I know that for sure because I've re-listened to them so many times. They probably, uh, no joke, the, the listening stats are probably sky high on those for those podcasts because I personally am just listening to them so much. So to get to be there at that panel at Dragon Con was really cool for me. But it doesn't just end there. When I got, went to sit down, I noticed, I was like, the people in front of me, they look familiar. And I realized the people sitting in front of me were Molly and Alex Damon from Star Wars Explained. And so I, and they were laying low during the panel, which was fine. And after the panel, I tapped Alex on the shoulder and I said, hey, I, I know you guys are laying low. Can, would you mind doing a picture with me? And uh, real quick, and he was like, they were, they were absolutely wonderful. They were saying, sure, of course. And so we got a picture, which is here. And they, it was just so cool that he would be willing to do a picture like that. Um, uh, just really also funny that someone of his fame and his uh, uh, presence in the Star Wars fandom, that he would just be attending it as a fan. He, the two of them, they were just sitting there watching, just sitting 
as if they were just any other fans. It was really cool. And then, of course, I also met Brian Young, who is one of the hosts of the Full of Sith podcast I listen to. He does other stuff that I don't really pay attention to, but I like his Full of Sith podcast. So it's interesting. Uh, it was interesting to meet him. He was really nice. Uh, and uh, then after that, I went to another panel, which I don't have pictures from, which was the Business of Authors panel. That Steve Saffel, remember that editor I talked about from the first panel? He was back at that panel. Um, uh, I should mention that at the Star Wars panel, you had people like John Jackson Miller, Claudia Gray, Greg Keyes, you had Kevin Anderson, Delilah Dawson, Timothy Zahn, and Michael Stackpole. And when Timothy Zahn enters a room, boy, does everything change. Like, the, he is treated like royalty in the Star Wars family. Like, everyone loves the other authors. We treat them with respect, but Zahn, he's on another level with the fandom. And it was really cool getting to see how people reacted to him. In fact, at one point they had to have everyone uh, uh, sit down uh, uh, that was in line for a question. And uh, uh, as they did that, uh, I think it was John Dexon Miller or Kevin Anderson, one of the two of them said, kneel before Zahn. And it was pretty funny. It was, it, was a good, it was a good laugh moment. There were some interesting questions in the panel. There was one, pan- there was one person in the room that every... You, they, they started their question and you just heard the whole room groan because they knew exactly where this person was going. Uh, and this person tried to get in four questions when you're only allowed to do one. Uh, so that Star Wars panel was interesting. The, uh, the business panel was really dry. It was really information-based. We were talking about the legal aspects. We were talking about contracts for publishing. We were talking about um, marketing. We were talking about uh, uh, different things like what kinds of IP you should control and what kinds of IP you should let a publisher. It was really into the weeds of business with publishing. And I'm really interested in that, but I know most people I talk to aren't. So that one... I won't dwell too much on. And then I went home, and I got home at midnight. So it was a long, long day, and the lines at Dragon Con are ridiculously long, but surprisingly move pretty fast. Like, the longest line I was in to get into the, um, uh, to get in, to get into the, the exhibitor place uh, in the America's Mart, I only had to wait about an hour. And that was despite having thousands of people in line. So it was really cool. I also got to meet up with some friends uh, there that we just happened to run into each other. And I was like, oh, hey, good to see you. So overall, it was a very fun Dragon Con. It was exhausting. I'm not sure if I'll go again. It depends on if I have like a ton of books by these authors that I want to get signed again, or if there's new authors that I've never met before. But this experience was pretty fun. So that is my time at Dragon Con. Uh, let, if you... Uh, if you have went to Dragon Con, let me know what your experience was like. Did you meet any of these authors? Were you in any of the panels that I was in? That would have been cool. Um, uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. But until next time, I'm Jonathan, and thank you for watching.